Hey, what's going on guys? It's Patrick here and today I'm bringing you guys the next episode of my Let's Play series. So today I was looking at my base and what I wanted to upgrade. I saw there was an archer tower on the top left that was only like two and a half million gold. And then I saw this Tesla on the bottom, which is still only two million gold. And compared to all the other upgrades around my base, like the, the mortars, the expos, the wizard towers that cost like five and six million gold, it was definitely a nice break. And uh, let's go ahead and work on that one and we should be able to get it pretty easily. As far as my elixir goes, I asked you guys in the last episode what I should upgrade and a lot of people said to do my giant since I use them so often. So I'm going to go ahead and hold off and save up for those guys and then in the meantime I'm going to upgrade my minions. The minions are a 6 day upgrade so hopefully by the time the minions are upgraded we'll have enough elixir for the giants and uh, that way we're getting the maximum efficiency out of our laboratory. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into the first battle, and you can see this guy has a ton of resources. I'm using my lazy farming strategy plus some dragons, and let's go ahead and talk about that video I did a couple days ago. I did that lazy farming attack strategy, which is sort of like the strategy I've been using for a long time, but I got a lot more in depth with it, and uh, in like a day and a half, it got 10,000 likes, it got posted on the Clash Facebook page, and the most important part was on Twitter, I got at least 50 messages from you guys with pictures of your amazing raids, people stealing 600,000 resources left and right, and it was awesome to see that it helped out so many of you guys. And I used to do a lot more guides in the past. I'm sort of uh, sort of mad at myself. I haven't been doing as many lately. I've been doing a lot of series-related stuff. Um, but I'd really like to do more guides because it seems like it helped a lot of you guys. So maybe I think the next one I might do is the Go Wee Wee strategy which is the Champions League strategy with golems witches and wizards so if you guys are like interested in a certain strategy I'll see if I can help you out with it again I'm not the best at every strategy if you guys have seen my balloon minion tactics I'm really not good at all with those I pretty much just drop everything at once on like 50% of the base and uh, drop some rage spells and that's it but stuff like the Go Wee Wee, I think I'm pretty pretty good with. I know the Lazy Farming strategy I'm great with. And there's a couple other ones. So if you have any suggestions, drop them in the comment section and I'll see if I can make it happen. All right, so right now we're at 37% on this base. Like I said, we're still using the Lazy Farming strategy. There's 100,000 resources left. So I'm going to go ahead and break through right here. And then finally, I'll just drop some more goblins to help out with this last gold mine. I wasn't sure if my dragon was going to make it or not. And I think it actually gets shot down right there. So it turns out that was a pretty good decision and uh, that should do it for this raid. Okay, so like to wrap it up, let's go ahead and check out step number four, which is to make sure we can get 50% on the base. I'm gonna drop some archers on these buildings up here. Generally, I go for barracks and builder's huts because they have like the least hit points out of any building, as well as the lab and the spell factory. And the archer tower, or the army camp up there was also free, so I made sure to take care of that. Okay, so wrapping it up, we got almost 500,000 resources, 80 dark elixir, and five trophies, so definitely a great raid. And let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so I do have some more news for you guys while I attack this base. I was at the passport agency yesterday, like I said in my video announcing the Finland trip. I didn't have my passport secured, and I was sort of freaking out about that. And when I went to call the agency, they said the only meeting they could give me was like the 25th of March. And my flight left the 26th, so that really wasn't going to work out. So pretty much all I did, I printed out all the forms I need. I brought in my old passport. I brought in my driver's license. And I just like stormed into the office and I went to the people and I was like, listen, I really need to go on this trip. I have all my information right here. Like I'm willing to wait. I brought my laptop and the people there were so nice. They're like, oh yeah, that's no problem. Like just go take a seat over there. And within 15 minutes, my passport was approved and I'm going to be picking it up tomorrow. So yeah, I can definitely confirm I'm going on the Finland trip. You guys can't believe how relieved I am about that. I told Supercell they were really excited. And also we did narrow down the meetup spots to two locations. So if you guys are in Helsinki, I know I got a lot of messages on Twitter, Facebook, and in the YouTube comments saying that people want to go to the meetup. We got a lot of people responding actually. Um, so we picked out two places and then a video coming up in the next few days. I'm going to tell you guys all about where we're meeting, what we're going to be doing. And uh, yeah, it'll be a great time to see you guys take some pictures, check out some bases just like I did in San Francisco. That was definitely one of the coolest parts of, uh, of my Clash YouTube career, I guess you can call it. But anyways, heading back to base, we're at 2 million gold, almost 4 million elixir. Let's go ahead and upgrade that hidden Tesla. Ended up at 1,470 trophies, which really isn't too bad. Again, like I said in that lazy farming video, I stay at 1,400 to 1,700. So as long as I don't go to like the low 1,400s or the high 1,300s, I think I should be able to still find those good bases. 
All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. I've been posting a video every day recently, so I'm still trying to keep on that schedule. So expect a video to come out tomorrow. Also, I did post a video on my second channel. You guys can check that out if you want. But other than that, I will see you guys later.